For PlayStation 3, one game that really impressed me is Beyond Two Souls. This is from the creators of Heavy Rain, and as you guys know, that's one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 3. And Beyond Two Souls, actually, I once again, I didn't think that they could improve the look of Heavy Rain, but they totally did in Beyond Two Souls. It knocked me, it, it, I was like, whoa, this is like the future of games. Um, you know, if they showed gameplay of this and said, this is coming out on PlayStation 4, I would have... I would have totally believed them. I would have been like, that is the next generation. That's how good this game looks. But essentially, from what I can gather, it's going to play not quite as um, not quite as uh, lenient in terms of gameplay as Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain had a lot of quick time events and such. This one seems to be a bit more action intense, where it shows you you can inhabit the souls of other people, it seems, like a cop on the street in the middle of a firefight. Um, I forget the girl's name, but she's a really famous actress who, who played in few really high profile movies. Um, the acting and animation in this looks absolutely phenomenal. And uh, also for the PlayStation 3, this wasn't shown off the press conference or anything, but for me, this is the kind of game that I'm really looking forward to. And it's a new game from NIS America, and that's Mugen or Mugen Souls for the PlayStation 3. This looks to be like a really super amazingly colorful, over the top, um, RPG coming exclusively for the PS3, and my god, I watched some video of this game, and I cannot wait. Uh, the attacks are super, super over the top. You do trillions of damage, and this is just the kind of RPG that I like, and I totally look forward to this game. Uh, Ninu Kuni, uh, unfortunately, of course, we know it is delayed until 2013, but we do have a release date, January uh, 22nd, 2013. And this is definitely probably my most anticipated game as of right now, I would say. And they showed off a new trailer, an English trailer, and my, man, this game looks so amazing. Anybody that's a fan of RPGs or Studio Ghibli, I'm sure you all know and are anticipating this game, but anybody out there that's sort of a casual RPG fan and you have not looked in the Nino Kuni, please do yourself a favor and do so as soon as you can. Uh, Persona 4 Arena. It's not like a new unveiling from E3, but it was shown off, and that's a fighting game that I'm really looking forward to. Considering I've kind of fallen out of buying fighting games as of late, I'm a big Persona 4 fan, and a Persona 4 fighting game, that's something that I will definitely be picking up. Um, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, they showed off some more gameplay for that, and unveiled some more characters such as Big Daddy uh, from Bioshock, which I thought was pretty interesting. And uh, it looks like a lot of fun, you know, I am a big Smash Brothers fan, this is obviously a carbon copy of Smash Brothers, they've changed some gameplay mechanics, but it looks really over the top and frantic, and you know, it's just an arcadey kind of fighting game that I can definitely see myself really getting into, and I can't wait to play it. Let's just hope that they announce Eco and Yorda, or something from Shadow of the Colossus, Eco as a playable character, I would just be in love with that. Uh, the new Sly Cooper game, Themes in Time, they showed up more gameplay when they first unveiled this, um, I forget when it was, like last year, E3 or... I don't know, it was a while ago when they first showed it. I wasn't too impressed, but watching the new gameplay, they showed, they, they showed Sly in more of um, the open world environments where it wasn't just like a boss battle, uh, where it showed exploration and the stealth elements. It actually looks really good, so I'm looking forward to that. Of course, at the end of Sony's press conference, everybody was wowed by The Last of Us, uh, the new game coming out by Naughty Dog, and I have to admit that was probably, possibly my favorite game um, of the show in terms of what we showed on press conferences. I would, yeah, I would go as far as to say possibly my favorite game of the show in terms of what had been shown. Um, I love the Uncharted series, and this looks to, you know, it borrows some elements from that, but what really interests me is the sort of survival aspect. It's like survival horror paired with an Uncharted game, and man, does this game look amazing. It's not your typical third-person shooter, um, and I know a lot of people are, you know, really impressed by the fact that, you know, the characters seem very, they interact with one another, and the combat seems very realistic. What really gets me is I'm, I'm noticing that when you shoot the enemies in this game, they seem to die within one bullet. Uh, so you shoot an enemy in the heart, the chest, the head, they're dead. There's none of this, you know, shooting an enemy with a full clip and getting back up and coming back at you. They're really smart. They try and ambush you. Um, ammunition is really limited, so bullets, you're, you know, you're really trying to save your bullets. If you can use melee attacks, um, you can you know, try and do that. And it just looks amazing. I can't wait to play The Last of Us. Uh, one game here, and I am not even kidding, guys. This might possibly be um, within my top three of most anticipated games that are coming out uh, this year or next year, or just games that were shown off more at E3. And that is a game called Tokyo Jungle. Now, 
suspends all of what you know of animals and video games that star animals. Tokyo Jungle takes that to the next level. This game lets you play as the Animal Kingdom. You can play as lions, tigers, giraffes, elephants, Pomeranian dogs, baby chickens, uh, velociraptors, um, cats, dogs, it, roosters, chickens, you name it, it's in this game. What it really actually reminds me of is a game that I've been trying to add to my collection for a while, and that's Evo Search for Eden on the Super Nintendo, where this is actually sort of an RPG, roguelike, adventure, beat-em-up game. Um, and I, I can't get over I watched the gameplay of this, and it's just completely out there. You play these animals, and it's like a survival game, where there's a survival mode, when you die, it's game over. You unlock new animals as the further you get. And you play in Tokyo, after humankind has been wiped out, you're not sure why, and it's sort of survival of the fittest. You can actually take down a lion with a flock of baby chicks, um, and level them up, you can equip your animals with armor and hats, and oh my god, this game looks so amazing, it's so quirky, so out there, it's just the kind of game I want. I'm so anticipating... I'm really considering importing this, and thank god it has been announced for uh, localization in Europe and the US. I can't wait for Tokyo Jungle. Oh. Uh, lastly, for the PlayStation 3, Little Big Planet Karting. I wasn't the biggest fan of Mod Nation Racers, but I have some hope for Little Big Planet Karting. I like kart racers, I like Little Big Planet, so hopefully it's a good parent. For the Vita, New Little King Story, and uh, this is the sequel to Little King Story on the Wii, which I was a big fan of. This is sort of taking a more mature, not quite as kitty look as the Wii game. It's sort of a blend of Pikmin meets an RPG. Um, is it just me? There's a lot of Pikmin kind of games coming out lately. Army Corps of Hell on the PS Vita, uh, Pikmin 3, obviously P Project P100, and now another little King story. I like the gameplay formula. Of course, Persona 4 The Golden, um, they showed off a lot more for that at E3, and I'm so happy it's coming out here in the US, and I've been holding off on... I wanted to replay through Persona 4 lately, um, and I'm just going to wait until it comes out on the beat. It looks amazing. Persona 4 is one of the best RPGs I've ever played, so can't wait for that. And they showed off a little bit more of Ragnarok Odyssey from the PlayStation Vita. This is sort of a Monster Hunter Fantasy Star type of online RPG. Uh, I think it has four-player co-op. Really beautiful, really good-looking game. It just recently got uh, announced for a localization in the U.S. Can't wait for that.